everyone, my name is Ivy. Welcome to our office space. And look at this. The special display we have set up to showcase our products. This is our M18EX mode model. You can you can find it on Amazon. And this and this fabulous M20AE, thanks for all the support on Kickstarter, we will have more exciting products gearing up to join the display. Alright, it's time to venture the heart into our color, our incredible factory space. Now, let's go. Hey there, the ground floor of the factory. The whites here are messy with a sprawling space housing many machines. You can see this is our N18EX. I wish I could show you more details about what's going on here, but there are some hush hush projects in the mix. So let's take it out a notch and head to the second floor to see the making of our M20AE. Let's go. Here we are on the second floor. You can see our Hurricane team are making our M20AE mower model. Now, let me walk you through our production process. What has been installed now is the blade lift motor, which allows us to address the desired mowing height. Our machine employs a real wheel drive mowing method. You can see we are installing our drive motor along with the wheels, the assembly of the drive wheels, which propel the forward motion of the front wheels. Now, as we move on to the next phase, we can see the installation of the army wheels with the lifting mechanism. It's a crucial step aimed at the bolstering the system overall safety. The next stage involves the installation of the mowing motor assembly, which empowers our machine with the necessary drive to perform its tasks. Moving forward, you can see we are inserting our cutting blade and its protector, protected cover. This arrangement serves to prevent staff from scattering everywhere during the mowing operations. The current stage we are approaching involves the installation of our self-developed control mainboard and hot sensor board for lift detection. You can see there are many wires here this step. We are connecting the sensors and the upper cover of the mower. And this, this is the laser radar unit. When started, the radar automatically ascends from its enclosure to commence its op operational tasks. When shut down, the radar will react into its housing, making sure its protection against potential damage. This automatic process is in place to safeguard the radar unit from any potential harm, the harm and extend its overall durability. This stat this step detects the machine's motor, the mainboard, and the version of the machine and the lifting function, etc. Arriving at this stage, once the machine passes the quality inspection, we will securely fasten the upper cover in place by using the screws. Finally, the assembly process of the machine concludes and next, we will proceed to simulate scenarios for the purpose of testing the machine's functionality. You can see this area we've set up for testing our Anthony AE mower model. You can also see we use the cute door bears as the, as the obstacles. When the mower goes back to the charging stations there, that makes the testing complex. And also you will go to the final process, the packaging process. Now you can see the mower is going back to the charging station and we are in our packaging area. You can see there are many plastics and cables there. They are all custom made for protecting the mower during the shipment. And we also will take notes for every mower such as their the date of the production and 
also the serial number for the mower. Since everything's done, I mean, once everything's done, the mower is ready for the shipping and also delivered to your hands. Now we've arrived at an even larger taxi area. Some of you might recognize this spot. Remember that? We held a 24-hour live stream before here, just like right here. And you can see our, we have the member testing our mowers there. And this is our, uh, this is our N28E mower model. Let's go near to it. And if I in front, stand in front of it, what will happen? Okay, it seems it detects me and then it just turn away. Let's see if I press the stop, stop button. Okay, it will just stop working. And then to make it work again, just hit the stop and OK button. You see, it will, it will start to work again. That's how it works. You can just control it on the control panel. Yeah, I just control it on the control panel, not on the app. So you can see it works fine. And right there, you can see this is our N18EX mower model. Unlike the, our M20AE mower model, the 18EX mower model um, needs to work for, for needs to follow the boundary wire to work. I mean, so that you need to set up a mowing area by installing the boundary wire. And if you have the obstacle, you also need to set up the boundary wire for that. You can see our member is texting right now. All right, that's a wrap on what we've got in store for you from the production process to our testing grounds. Anyway, we will have more live streams later, so please keep following us. Until then, please take care and see you the next time.